Hello, this is Brian Houle. I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. And today I want to talk about generating a rich text format report from Sharewell Service Management. Here I'm working with uh, the version 4.60, but this should work in any version of Sharewell that you have, especially the 5.0 version or 5.1. Now, the reason why I'm going to do uh, this report in the way that I'm going to do it is it seems that the uh, Sharewell report designer has a hard time capturing the formatting from rich text fields. And you can define text fields in Sharewell as rich text uh, fields, and that allows you to put formatting into it like tables or boldface or images, things that um, you might do in Word, uh, you can do in the rich text format for the most part. Um, however, if we uh, were to generate a, a report and say uh, save it out as a PDF file, the formatting in rich text fields does not appear on reports generated through the report manager. So that's why I'm doing this as a uh, rich text format export. So let's have a look. So here in this system I have an incident form and the incident forms have uh, an outage object. So let's go look at this and this is just a supporting object with some fields on it. Um, so we have an executive summary session uh, section and a technical summary section, and each of these is filled out. And uh, I have a rich text zoom here. And uh, if we go down to this uh, bottom part, I have a table here that I, I want to keep that formatting in. So what happens if, if I open this as a PDF, and here I'm just generating a report as a PDF, and you scroll down, and it looks OK. But when I get down to my triage section with the table, that's what happens. So it's sort of ignoring my rich text formatting. And we can have a look at what that field looks like here. So there's that. And then there's that. So you see it's not uh, formatting my table properly. So how do we get around this? Well, I have this other uh, link on my form called Open as RTF, a rich text format. And if I click on that, it pops up a rich text formatted document. It looks similar. I've got my tables there. But as you'll notice down here, I've also got my table formatted the way I want it. So that's important. So let's look at how I did that. Uh, if I'm going to my admin tool, you'll see that um, on that form, this link is just calling a one step. And this is the one step. So if we right click on that and have a look, um, I'm doing a couple things. First, I'm doing a hard save on my uh, form, and that's just calling the save command. And that is so that uh, I know that all the current values that I'm seeing on the, on the screen get saved to the database so that when I export my RTF report, what I see is what I get on my uh, exported report. So let's look at this. Now, this is a write to a file step, and I've named it export RTF report. So let's look at that. And what I can do is I can go into my zoom here and I could just fill this out as I like. I can format it and then I can insert my fields by right clicking and selecting my fields. And this really is what you see is what you get. So I design that as I like. I click OK. OK again. And when this step runs, it'll save it. It'll export to a file. And here I'm also using a file name here. If you right click and scroll down to file name, you can define, you can define a uh, temp file that you can then call from other steps. Uh, so uh, there is a video on our channel that discusses using file names for uh, exporting reports as email attachments. I will direct you to that uh, video for more information on file names. And so finally, I'm going to open my outage report. Um, and what this does is it will just trigger whatever application handles that file type to open the file on the client system. And uh, so we edit this here. I'm calling my outage report file name that I've defined in previous steps. And I'm pretty much taking the default options here. And that's all there is to it. So the next time that I go back to my form, I create a link that calls the one step and it puts all my rich text formatting on here. And now I can uh, save this as a Word document. I can uh, export it from Word to a, a Adobe PDF, and I'm good to go. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more shareable videos. Thanks very much.